married to an entrepreneur is hard work, but it's worth it when it works. You got your hands full every day like I do. You got kids, you got a, you know, a marriage that you're trying to work, you're tr you know, a business that you're trying to make work. And finding time for the kids and keeping it spontaneous. Boy, that was good last night. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nobody teaches you how to manage a business or manage a relationship or marriage. Everybody's just trying to do the best that they can. The purpose of the show is to give you some tools on how to make the marriage and the business work. We don't do it perfect, but we're figuring it out. Hey, hey, thanks for tuning in to the G&E Show you, this you're being week. So, you're, oh, you're being abusive I'm already. Why, why are you so abusive? Hey, call us at 305-865-8668. 305-865-8668. She's always running on me, Follow right? me at Elena Cardone. Dude, why are you so... Why are you so what, what you, Ow! Dude, what are you in such a hurry for? My God. Folks, my name's Grant Cardone. This is Adelina Cardone. Mm. Okay. And every week we come to Damn you to talk about your relationships, yeah. your marriage, what you got to do to keep everything going with the kids. We are pro marriage. We're pro. We kiddies. are pro working it out. Okay, we're we're, we're stick and Duking stay. It out. Stick and stay is it's bound, bound to, to pay. You gotta you gotta see it through, man. You gotta hey. see it, see it through the three year. Problems, everything the worthwhile is worth fighting for, for worth, working, working for, for fighting come for, on. hanging on for. And if you're writing your goals down, getting together on the same page, spending time together, look, it's going to be a lot easier. It's already hard. It's hard by yourself. It's hard by yourself. It's hard. It's hard with in somebody. a marriage. The question right. is how you want to go home at night, man. That's right. So whether you're in a, a a conventional relationship, whether you're married, whether you're you know maybe dating, whether you're same sex, uh, the other sex, I don't know what, what what's the other thing called other than same sex, like ours. What's that called? Heterosexual? Okay. Whatever your deal is, okay? Look, getting along with uh, other people on this planet can sometimes be difficult. Then when you move in with them and got to talk about the money and the sex and the kids and the schedules and the problems and the challenges, man, it just becomes more complicated. And so we wanted to do this show. Actually, E taught me, Adelina Cardone taught me into doing this show and said, hey, we got a lot, a lot to offer people and- this was a way for us to work together and learn That's about right. our own relationship. And now we have our 10-year marriage anniversary behind us. So, you know, we, 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 we're we we're credible whoa, whoa, whoa. at this point. Oh, we are credible. That's a big word. Mm, it's a big word. Now, now no, most of the people don't know this, but you're from New Orleans, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now so we, we were met in Los Angeles, the other L.A. Yeah. And we, we were brought up. I don't know about you, but I, I was whipped as a Kid, I you? was hit a few times too. How myself. many times were you hit? Several. I, I remember I crossed the street one time. My 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 father told me not to. The little kid down the street was like, "You can cross the street. I'm watching you." And you know what he said? He said, "Your dad told me it was okay if I'm watching you because I'm older than you." And I believed him. Yeah. Cross the street. Guess what? Dad comes out, sees me, boom, pulls my pants down, freaking wax me on the behind. Yeah. My oh. dad. My dad. Oh, dude. He he pulled out a belt. The belt, he had the paddle. Principal beat me six years old, first day of school. That, ain't, that is hit me not ten right. times with a paddle that long, man. That paddle. No way. You guys, you guys ever been uh. hit on? Okay. So, so why am I talking about beating you today? Because NFL commissioner punished Ravens. His name is Ray not Rice. Rice. Yeah. Ray Rice. Yeah. That's two right. games. Two games. Actually, Rice two games. Rice got two with games for allegedly. You forget the out whole his story is he wife. got two games, and the third game he's not being paid. Okay, so he's continue. in an Atlantic uh, so. City casino. This is his wife, by the way. Most people thought it was a girlfriend or no, something. No, 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 no. Let's get the facts correct. When the incident happened in the elevator, she was the fiance. The fiance. Then he goes and hires a lawyer. And the lawyer says, and for the NFL reasons, we've got to nip this in the bud if you've got to marry her now. Because guess what? It's going to look better that she forgave you and then she can't testify against you because she's the wife. And everything's going to look pretty if she forgives you. It's not going to look as bad that he freaking uppercut her and knocked her out. Continue with the well, accurate all we know story, is, first please. Of all, all, we know, all we know is she's married to him now. That's true. When the elevator door opened, she's on the floor. What I don't understand is why, I don't know if we have that video. We don't have that piece, do we? 
I, what I don't understand is why he didn't I'm pick sure her TMZ up. I'm sure TMZ has it. I mean, if you fell, if you went unconscious in an elevator, okay, and, and the door opened and you're on the floor, I would at least pick you up, Elena, because you're light as a feather, because, number one. Because, well, darling. <laughs> darling. You're so easy to manipulate. I know. I don't need to beat you. I know how to manipulate you. That's okay. true. So, look, we're talking in your marriage. When when do you use force? Never. Was the NFL right in giving this guy two games off? Because this thing got, like, even more lit up. Stephen Smith, ESPN Stephen Smith, has now been suspended for a week because he came out. Do we have that that clip? Stephen Smith defended Ray Rice. Not quite, but listen to what he said. Fellas that you know, if we come after somebody has put their hands on you, it doesn't negate the fact that they already put their hands on you. So let's try to make sure that we can do our part in making sure that that doesn't happen. Now, you got some dudes that are just horrible and they're going to do it anyway. And there's never an an excuse to put your hands on a woman. But domestic violence or, 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 you know, with, with or whatever the case may be, with men putting their hands on women, is obviously a very real, real issue in our society. And I think that just talking about what guys shouldn't do, we got to also make sure that you can do your part to do whatever you can do to make to, 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 to try to make sure it doesn't happen. We know they're wrong. We know they're criminal. We know they probably deserve to be in jail. In Ray Rice's case, he probably deserves more than the two-game suspension, which we both acknowledge. But at the same time, we also have to make sure that we learn as much as we can about elements of provocation. Not that there's real provocation, but the elements of provocation, you got to make sure that you address it because what we've got to do is do what we can to try to prevent the situation situations from happening in any way and I-, I don't even i don't know if he was talking like i don't even I- know what he just said do you well he said i think he should have been suspended for talking garb uh, garble like i don't even understand what he talked about i don't think that was the actual the piece that we wanted do you I I do think, yes, it was the piece. And he's saying that women need to be, uh, I don't know. Hey, if you know what he said that he got suspended for, I want you to call me, 305-865-8668. He's he's saying that women need to be responsible for not instigating, not instigating or provoking a situation. And and that got a lot of uh, women's rights He got suspended for for a week. Because women should not be hit, but he did not say they should be hit. Nobody wants to stand up and say it's all right to hit. No but everybody one, no doing one it. should hit. Everybody hit. No one should be hitting anyone. Hey, I, want you I to agree stay with, with Whoopi We're going to come back let's, and tell you why, why, why and when you should use violence. This is Grant Cardone Defense. and Adelina Cardone on the G&E Show. There are 7 billion people in the world. Who are you? How are you different? 7 billion people on planet Earth. There's a small portion of them that want greatness. Seller be sold. Book an audio package. You can't get away from this idea that you just have to sell more. Voted the number one business sales book by Axiom Gold Awards. Now, for the first time ever, in audio, read by Grant Cardone. If you want to get your way in business and in life, call 800-368-5771. Sell or be sold. Book an audio package. Call 800-368-5771 today. Tired of missing sales? Come on, be honest. Are you getting all there is in the marketplace? Take an honest look in your mind's eye at your sales team right now. Are they doing everything they can to make that extra sale? If you're tired of watching your salespeople be tongue-tied, not follow up, not know their product, not know what to say at that critical moment, welcome to tiredofmissingsales.com. My name's Grant Cardone. I know your frustrations. Look, whether your people sell over the phone or in person, whether you sell a tangible or an intangible, 
I can increase the sales of any company by at least 15% guaranteed. Go to tiredofmissingsales.com and I'll show you the top three reasons your salespeople don't make those extra sales. Go to tiredofmissingsales.com. Hey, welcome back to the G&E Show. Welcome back. Follow me at Elena Cardone. My speaker started working again. My left speaker, man. That's unbelievable, Elena. You just solved my problem. Oh, you know I do. Look hey, folks, we're, we're talk- this is a G&E show. And we're always talking about the complications in relationships and staying together and working it out and making it happen. You know, I know, I know how frustrating it can get being in a relationship sometimes. Like, yeah! But this week, you know, uh, Ray Rice supposedly, allegedly knocked his wife out in an elevator. I mean, I think the guy, I think he should No, there's got, no question he, Elena, he knocked her me. out. No, that no. is not, no, no, that's not allegedly. Nobody's seen that. Nobody's yes, seen that. Yes, they have. Nobody's seen that. Yes, they have. They've seen the footage Did you see at the it? Atlantic. Did you In see the it? courts, they have seen Boom. it. It has not been released to the public. He gave her supposedly have y'all seen it? Have y'all seen her knocked out? No. That knocked Supposed, her out. Allegedly. Okay? Allegedly. And she said she went back. He was suspended for four games. Two games. Two games. Would you let me finish? He was suspended for four games. And he went back and um, mm. repealed it or appealed it. Mm. And the wife, dude, now, he, he, he should have got two games said, for not picking the bitch up. The wife the said, "Please floor. be lenient on her him." And then they gave him the two game suspension with a third of a non pay. And then Stephen Smith with ESPN comes out and says, "Women should not provoke men." Okay, basically that's not the exact quote, but it's. And then Whoopi came out. And then Whoopi. And said dude, on the Whoopi, View who yesterday. I hate Whoopi. I hate Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, I would no, why not. Why would you hate? Why are you a hater? I'm a are hater. You I don't like Whoopi haters Goldberg. that she has to collect to maybe, motivate? Are may, you her fuel? Maybe, but I don't, I, don't, I don't like Whoopi. But I got to tell you something. What Whoopi said yesterday on The View, I completely agree with. Now, before we play that clip, let me let me say this. You should never you hit a woman. You clip happy today, You huh? should never hit a woman. Women should not hit men. Agreed. And parents should never hit kids. And I was brought up with spankings, whippings, pinching, pulling, shoving. Mm -mm. Okay. I had great parents, but they believed they believed in the threat. Kids do not have equal strength. Just like a man and a female. But I wanna I I wanna hear Donald I wanna hear Donald Trump's uh Whoopi Goldberg's a uh, cuz they don't get along much okay okay well give me don't give throw me give me whoopee give me whoopee give me give me give me whoopee okay, give me let's give us whoopee listen oh, i'm sorry if you hit somebody you cannot be sure you are not going to get hit by an idol because uh, no 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 oh yes yes baby listen if you're a little boy i'm sorry if you're a little boy and you grow up with a little sit a sit says no you can never hit her and she's like this and she's hitting you all the time you say mommy mommy she like, well you know what i'm sorry if you hit her if, no you have to teach women you have to teach women do not do not put your hands on anybody do not let, let me just let me let me can I, let me just, okay here's the deal okay? and i agree no but women? you don't need to teach women not to hit men okay men you shouldn't hit a woman no matter what i mean period there's just too much of a mass advantage. I have 50 pounds on you. Absolutely. So, But yes, women should not be going around hitting men. And there are some women out 70. there that could clobber a man. Women should not be hitting children, should not be hitting Look at men. This. Look at that. Look at the arms. This guy's got 24-inch arms. Yeah. Right? Isn't yeah. that what his arms That's are? Right. They're probably 24 That's inches. That's right. Okay. It's now, just now, like my but, child, my five-year-old, our five-year-old, you know, she is taught we are not a hitting family. We don't hit. If she hits me, which she has before, I'm not going to go then hit her back. Let me just give you the facts. It's not equal. Okay. Spousal abuse. In this country, one in, one in four women have experienced violence. One in four women. Do you know that? I believe it. Seven million ch- children live in a violent household today. Mm. 500 women are assaulted every day. The fact that Ray Rice didn't pick his wife up, his that girlfriend. That upsets you more the than woman, the uppercut. All I know for sure is what I saw was he did he not did pick, not her, pick up. her up. He dragged her. Ew, he pushed on her. Ugh. Dude, if you were unconscious, even if I was responsible for it, I'd pick you up. Okay, If, you, if I wasn't responsible for it, which he's saying he didn't, 
I would definitely pick you up. Why didn't he pick a guy? How you, 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 a woman's on the floor. You don't pick her up. What's wrong with you, man? Okay. Clearly, Look, what's wrong with you? If she you're using violence, out. if you're using violence in your relationship, if you're using that kind of physical force with children with a woman, if a woman's using it with a man, know this: you've lost control. That is not control. That no, is out of control. That is force, dominance, horrific. And I it's hate to fear. I, like yeah, yeah, it's exactly. degrading. You yeah. don't degrade other people, human beings. Well, and, and, and I really want to. I really, Elena. I really want to talk about that. The fact that it doesn't work. I know it doesn't work. It didn't change my behavior any. No. When my dad or my you mom just get with afraid, you fear. You put this fear in life. But on. It, did, it didn't. You can't keep, break the rules. It you never have to be ca- good. A good girl. It didn't good even boy. change my behavior though. It didn't change what I did. I still. I'm like, give me the whipping. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's take Brian from Orlando. Oh, I'm sorry. Brian from Oakland, California. How you doing? I'm good in yourself. Good, my friend. Good, my friend. You hear what you hear what we're talking about? Absolutely. What do you think? I mean, what do you think about our opinion here? Well, the way I look at it is, one, um, and let's start with uh, Ray Rice. Mm-hmm. We don't know what exactly happened in the elevator itself. Um, and, and what I relate that to is, if we look at, like the Solange and Jay Z incident, yeah, mm-hmm. that yeah, happened yeah. in May. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, now Solange, she provoked Jay Z, and he could have hit her, but he had security there to calm her down. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Now, what if Jay Z would have hit Solange? But he didn't, man. He didn't. No, hit her. No, 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 he didn't. But what I'm saying is this: there was no real outroar when Solange was welling on Jay Z kicking. I hit. was outraged myself. But, Personally, but, I was outraged. I thought that was horrific behavior. Because you love Jay-Z. You I love do. Jay-Z. I love Jay-Z. <laughs> Dude, but let me ask you this. What we did see, Brother yeah. Brian, what we did see is that Ray didn't pick her up. How did you feel about that? Because that disgusted me, to see a man well, I, not pick a woman up that was in, it was in trouble. I definitely understand understand that fact. I'd give him two um, games for that shit right there, dude. I'd be like, hey, act like a gentleman, man. You're going to be in the NFL. You're a role model of millions of people. Pick a bitch up. Jesus, don't call her that. <laughs> well, I understand that. Absolutely, he should have picked her up and, yep. and, and brought her out. Um, but again, we don't know what happened. Uh, again, if she went off, say, Solange on him. Yeah. And, and she probably did. She probably did. And he try, and, and say from what I, from what they said, say you know they say NFL sources said that he had pushed her and hit her, and she went and hit her head against the elevator. That's what they said on you know ESPN and other outlets. But and we don't know. I mean, but they're the ones who saw the the uh, video. Yeah, they saw the clip in the in the casino supposedly. Right. So ultimately, my thing is, and I take myself. I'm six two. I'm about 260 pounds. I, I work out. I used to play football, what have you. If if my lady starts hitting on me, even if I grab her, I'm, I'm probably going to end up bruising her. And ultimately, it's going to come on me. If I push her, she's probably going to fall just if I try to stop her. For so sure. Know, so we just don't know what exactly happened. Was he protecting himself? Is he an individual? Yeah, but dude, I mean, the guy's, what, 300 pounds, 280? He's got 24-inch arms? He should, I, I'm, no, I'm, I'm talking just The only general. place he should hit anybody is on a field, man. I understand, but we don't know if he hit her. We don't know that. No, you're right, but I know this. He didn't pick her up. Right, he, he didn't pick her up. So why so didn't he pick her up, man? That looks ugly right there, man. You, don't, but you, you scratch my car and you don't stop and tell me, it makes me know for sure you hit me. I, I understand Come on, that. B. Keep it real. You know he hit her. You know he busted her ass. It <laughs> Look, but probably I'm a, broke I'm, her I'm ribs. Assumption. I'm assuming. Again, I'm going to go back to what I saw with Solange and Jay-Z. So what I'm saying is this. Why were charges pressed against Solange uh-huh. for hitting Jay-Z? Well, now, doesn't Jay-Z, it have to no, come from the family? I mean, they, they're not going mean, to. It, it was in a public place. So the thing is, couldn't. I mean, everyone saw the video. Couldn't the DA say, you know what? That was abuse. That was abuse. Okay. You hey, know, so. B, B, thank you for calling in, bro. Appreciate you following the show. All right, this is Grant Cardone at Elena right. Cardone. Folks, you're watching the G&E Show. Stay with us. Call in if you'd like to be part of this debate. Yeah. 305-865-8668. Was, was really interesting there because we don't know. You're talking over my number. Oh. I'm smack you down right 305-868-8668. here. 305-868-8668. No, no. no 305-865-8668. Damn, you can't even get it right. Pow. 305-865-8668.
Where do you stand on spanking chillins? No. No, no, no. For over 30 years, international interior designer Stephen G. is a world-renowned master of contemporary and traditional high-end design. To me, lifestyle and comfort is what a great design project is all about. Interiors by Stephen G. has galleries in Florida and New York. With staff fluent in seven different languages, Interiors by Stephen G. offers a full-service experience from construction to completion. Visit Interiors by Stephen G. at Facebook or his website, interiorsbystephenG.com. That's interiorsbystephenG.com to get started on bringing your design fantasies to a level beyond your dreams. Visit interiorsbystephenG.com today. I'm sick of hiring people that are uninspired. I'm done with people that make more excuses than they can make money. I'm over the book smart and the people stupid. I'll throw up again if I hear about what you did rather than what you can do. This isn't a contest. This isn't a challenge. This is the way I hire people. My name's Grant Cardone. Look, I'm in a hurry to get to the next level. I'm looking for people that can get the job done. And I have two rules. One, find great people. Number two, never tolerate average. I'm looking for the great people, the people that will do whatever it takes, and the people that refuse to settle. Trust me, if you got any little bitch in you, I'll find out. This is whatever it takes. Wait and see what I do this year. It's gonna be freaking over the top crazy, okay? Show me some love, come on now. I wanna to talk to you today about success. What you're learning here will go with you for the rest of your life. You're getting me excited right now. If you're average, you'll hate me. Being able to live where you want requires that you produce, even when you don't want to. Every day they're freaking out there. Every day I'm hustling. Saying, hey man, I want to put my hustle on. In the hustle country of the planet, America, the great USA. Hey, Grant Cardone here, New York Times bestselling author and your friend in sales and in business. That's right, in business. So you want to scream about it? You want to bitch, complain? Go ahead. This is the worst job market in the history of the United States of America. The truth is, get back to promise and hope followed up with work. Completely committed, completely dedicated. It's not work, it's a passion. Turn that camera on. Is it loaded? Do you have battery in it? Turn it on and follow me. It's a Wi-Fi hotspot. Mmm. What does mm. that mean, man? That mean, we, could, we could right? Skype. We could do whatever you want. All I right. Can do a video here, man. Yeah, hey, come on, man. Hey, welcome back to the G&E Show. This is Grant Cardone and Adelina Cardone. Uh, every week we come Very here. Very heated topic. Every week we come here to talk to you about marriage and business. And business and marriage. And when the two worlds collide, people sometimes get physical. Mm. And uh, I might be suspended myself from YouTube. You are from suspended. You they are suspended, suspended me for using the B word. I use the B word, man. Look, I don't understand why Ray Rice didn't pick his wife up. Or his girlfriend. Or yeah, whatever you well call then- it. then... I don't understand that why. That does not excuse Look, the other thing. Gentlemen, men out there, you if you her. ever see a woman laying on the ground, okay, forget whether you're responsible for it or not for a second. Look, here's the problem. Pick a woman up. Pick ladies up. Pick ladies them up. Take care of them. Ladies do not hit. Ladies. Okay? Ladies. Ladies do not hit. Keep your damn hands if to yourself. If you do hit, gentlemen, men, you do not hit back. You just don't. Yeah, because what, what happens, in, and the other thing is, parents, don't hit your kids. No. Look, because when I hit my kid, if I hit my kid, if I spank my kid, Our then what, what have happens? Never been hit. Never, never. They're, they're not misbehaved. We have penalties and rewards. They're misbehaved. Don't kid yourself. They've done things no, that no, aren't. They've never misbehaved enough to say, "Hey, I'm going to hit the kid." No, they never could because we do 
we do star boards. We do penalties and rewards. You know what? She gets stars for all the taking baths, doing good in school, da 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 eating your dinner. You know, she gets checks. Inflict, Every 20 can, checks, I, she gets her gift. She earns all of her gifts. She doesn't just get to give. She's not, this is an entitlement family. We don't, she doesn't just get gifts. Well, that's probably what was okay? wrong with Ray Rice. She, she was probably giving this girl wrong. too much in the elevator. Grant. I'm going to tell you something. I can inflict more damage on my daughter by giving her an X. On the starboard. You get her an X, and she's going to put herself in check. Oh, yeah. She's going to be like, oh, my God. Last she knows night, she's last not going to get that 20 star gift. I sat her down with her. I'm like, tell me the three things. Tell me one or two or three things she did good today. Boom, boom, boom. Tell me the things she did bad. Bing, bing, bing. I gave her two. I'm like, she's like, oh, my God. I can't believe it. Yeah, she that. got two X's because she Why? scratched Scarlet on the front yeah. and gave like, and, and we don't Physical. do we don't do that in our family. We didn't pull she her. Did she that. was in the bathtub with Scarlet, scratched her. We did not pull Sabrina out of the bathtub and whack her nope. to teach her what not did to I hit do? or scar. She gave her an X on the starboard, and then and I handled it with her. I'm, she's I said, Sabrina, did you scratch Scarlet? She's like, it was an I, accident. It was an accident. I said, really? Shh. I want you to accidentally scratch me right now. And she turns in the bathtub. She turns around and she she does this whole thing and she reaches behind. I'm like, how was that an accident? I told you what to do and you did it. You actually thought about it. Then you turned around, you grabbed me and then you pull your, I said, that's not an accident. You can't accidentally hit somebody, right? Okay. Stephen Smith went on and said, look, man, women should not hit Provoke. men. And he got two, two, uh, what a week, he got a week suspended. He alluded but why to the can't we women talk about should these not things, provoke Elena? a man, and they which they shouldn't. And they shouldn't. And they shouldn't. They shouldn't. shouldn't. I'm agreeing with that. But I'm not also agreeing that if they do or they hit a man, they deserve to be hit. What Whoopi Goldberg was, what she said was they should not be surprised if they hit a man and he hits yeah. her back. And well, I well, agree with that, too. Yeah. At the same time the view was going off, Hamas is throwing 2,000 rockets into Israel. And we're saying, hey, stand down, don't do anything. Do you know if somebody in Canada or Mexico threw 2,000 rockets into the U.S., what we would do to that country? That we would obliterate Annihilate. it. Annihilate. 30 minutes later, they would be freaking scorched off planet Earth. And then we wonder why we're violent, man. We wonder why b b people are violent. It's because, I don't know about you, but, you know, back in the 50s, we used paddles. And, we, and they used belts on you. And they threatened you. And it was popular to do that. But there's actually... Uh, data out there that says if you spank a child, because really I want to take it to the to the parents and and, and stop them. Because that is there. definitely an inequality of physical strength. Seven million children live in abuse. Not and, oh. and look, I don't abuse you physically, but I know that I do it emotionally <laughs> and mentally. I, I know I, I, I. We have never hit a hand on each other. It's I don't just... need to. I don't need to. I use my brain power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People do think you brainwash me. Continue. Okay. Hitting Starting models, hitting, myself. hitting models, hitting. Okay, hitting Number two, models, hitting. What does hitting, that mean? Well, because what happens is they've done research that says when the when the kids see a parent, oh, I see. get hit, they mm -hmm. start hitting other kids. That's right. Uh, number two, hitting devalues the child. Absolutely, turns them into a piece of piece of piece of skin and meat. Right, it's degrading. Let's take, why don't That's we take Melanie? Yeah, Melanie let's, from let's, Canada. Let's see what Melanie. Melanie has to say about this. Hey, Melanie. Hello. How Hello. you doing? Hi, Thanks for Melanie. calling. Hi guys! Oh my god, I can't believe I'm talking to you. My husband's gonna be like, "What the hell are you talking to Elena and Grant Cardone?" Oh, dude, that's <laughs> awesome! I appreciate you following us. So I follow you guys. I love you. I love you, Elena. I want to be you. <laughs> but the reason I'm phoning in, which is gonna be hard, so I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to cry because I'm not in that situation anymore. But I find in violent situations there is no gray area. I find it's totally black and white because I've been there. Yeah. And I was beaten almost every day. By a parent or? My ex-husband. Okay. Um, and I'm like, a, I'm like you, Elena. I mean, I'm like 110 pounds soaking wet, you know? I'm like 5'3", I'm 110 pounds, you know? And my kids watched this and Oof. saw this. Oh, wow. And then now, yeah, and now that I'm in the situation that I'm in with my wonderful fiancé now, I've noticed my son starting to do this to my daughters a little bit. Mm. So the domino effect. Yeah, that exactly. It, that it has. Because he saw what, he what was survival. Who was winning in the situation? The husband or you? And he was because you weren't winning yeah. in that situation. He was. No, you and know, I agree. It, and the other perception thing, wise. The women, yeah. And the other thing with the women hitting, I mean, yes, I agree. I don't think anybody should hit anybody. I don't care that he was 180 pounds. I'm 110 pounds. I shouldn't hit. 
But I have to admit, when I got my ass beat, excuse the language, there was times where I was I was fighting. Yeah, right, right, right. And I was I was smacking him back, and I was I was trying my best, but I just well, you were were you know. smacking were you smacking back to defend yourself at that point, or or did you or did, did you, you instigate and start by starting the fighting, the hitting? Uh oh, looks did like we, we lost Melanie. I really wanted to know that too. Yeah, Melanie. So we might have lost Melanie. Okay. Um, so look, folks. I mean, here's the deal. I have never, ever, have I ever put a hand on you? Never. Have I ever and I, I'll threatened? Con- have never I ever thre- threatened me. One thing and is, I will confess that there there was a time where I've like poked no, you. No, no. You remember that one time you, you pinched me? Boy, that was like. I pinched like, you, you lost, and I, I lost my patience. Did you, you lose? Did, were you and, out and of control you? at that moment? A little bit. Can you admit it? Mm-hmm. See, but you never hit me back. Control. You didn't. You no. you never have lost control. I put a Jay Z move on you, dude. Yeah. But you, I've never you, punched. You were being I've Sanye. never punched what, what a was guy. Her name? What was the chick that two months ago happened? What? Sanye or Salah? Salah. You were doing a Salah on me, and I was Jay Z. No, I'm I like, was not. I did a I didn't have pinch. Any, I didn't have anybody. I didn't go a me. kick. A punch. Here's what I had. Here's what I had. Hey, I'm not hitting anybody to handle the situation. Okay, I'm just not going to do it. It's not my go-to tool. Mm-mm. Okay, and, and I was brought up to respond phys- with physical. Remember so back in I. 2008. Remember in 2008 when I was having that big lawsuit. Yes. And what did I tell you I wanted to do? You wanted to go take a somebody I out. Wanted, I wanted to go. You wanted Joey. to go. Paul. You wanted to hire a friend of a friendy of a Vinny. I want to say, let's go, Joey. Let's go, Joey. Let's call get Joey. a Joey. I'm and call I said, Paul and what did up. I say? No, it only takes an idea. You know, an idea. And Elena said to me, an Grant, idea. Grant, flourish and prosper. That's right. Make this guy hit your guts because be every everywhere. Morning, every he morning, can't get away from you. Every, your pictures on the side of every, a bus. It's on a every, billboard. Every it's morning, on the news. E- Try to get in another morning. word. <laughs> you physically, you, 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 you see, you, you just verbally abused me. Okay, <laughs> Elena. You know, th- th- look, the world is so hard already. You know, folks, it's so hard, man. Look, don't, don't, don't make it harder on your kids. Hitting, I, and I know some of you, some of you guys out there. I know, I know the stance you're gonna take. No, there's a time to spank kids. There's never, never, ever, ever, ever. You're you're, a hundred and two hundred pounds, and the kid's thirty eight pounds. There is never. never a time, never to grab an arm, never to bruise, never to pinch, never to raise your voice at them. Mm, you gotta get hard. your hand, get a handle, okay? Get a handle on yourself that's causing you to be reactive like that because analytically. When you put the math to it, 200 pounds to 38 pounds, it doesn't make any sense. Slapping hands, no good. Hitting devalues kids. Hitting devalues the parent. The hitter gets devalued. You never feel good about Mm-mm. hitting a kid. Mm-mm. That should indicate Confidence. to you. I mean, ugh. Hitting's going to lead to abuse. Hitting does not improve behavior. It's like Melanie said. Now her son is like hitting the, the yeah. siblings. It's like it's taught behavior. It's- yeah. Melanie, you back, Melanie? Yeah, I'm there. Sorry, guys. That's all right. All right, sorry. You're just being all the way on Vancouver Island, I think, maybe. <laughs> so you're you're Vancouver Island? Yes, I'm on Vancouver Island. Beautiful, 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 Island. beautiful, beautiful island. Elena's never been there. Oh, Rub it in. Gorgeous. I flew into yeah, Vancouver like, yeah. one night. I'm, I tell you, I flew into Vancouver one night, okay? The storms were so bad. It's, I, I've flown over three million miles. The, flight, the, the turbulence on that flight was the worst. Literally, it felt like oh, we were moving goodness. four and five hundred feet at a time before... Up and down. So you were saying, Melanie. But it was beautiful yeah. when you got there. Uh, you, you, we, we were asking you when you hung up, did you instigate yeah. some okay, of that? Okay, you knew that this husband was physically violent. So in yeah. your relations with him, would you ever strike him first knowing what was going to come at you? Or were you just no. merely, okay, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. This was no, just was defending physical, and hitting. That's different. Yeah, I was defending and hitting. But uh, there was times I didn't mean he was an alcoholic. Uh, did not help. You knew that, but though. You knew that time. when you got with him, right? I did, yeah. Did you ever get really loaded with him, but when y'all were dating, y'all went no, out and got I'm drunk? Not, no, I don't drink at all. Uh-huh. Never. No. I mean, there's the times, like I said, with my fiance now, you know, you have a glass of wine, things like that. I've never been a big drinker. I've yeah. never done drugs, nothing like that. No. Yeah. No, but there was times when he would start, like, I knew he was agitated because he wanted to get have a drink. Yeah. I would kind of start into him. Like, you know, you don't need to be doing this, and that would just aggravate it. And yeah. then... He would just explode. It was like it was never an in between. It was like one to a hundred, and he would just explode, and then that was it. And I knew, and I it was kind of weird. I knew to get in the position to like cover my head and protect myself because I knew what was coming. Oh wow! Mm. Well, I'm glad yeah. you survived. It. I'm, I'm glad, glad you're in you a good out. relationship. I'm glad you're fans of ours. Okay, 
And when we come to Vancouver Island, we're going to come visit you, all right? Yes, you are. You're going to come get your nails done by me, Elena. Ooh. What about my nails? I can get my nails done, too. I'm, I can be oh, some, I got some nails. female in me. I got some girl in me, too. I'll, I'll do your nails, too, and then you can come visit my husband at the car dealership that he works at because he idolizes you and watches you every day. Okay, what's his Twitter handle? I'll send him a little tweet out. He's um, at DJ Cubit. At DJ Cubit. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for calling in today. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Melanie. Look, folks. Look, if you're if you're hitting anyone in your in your in your relationship, you're out of control. There's something you're not confronting. There's something you're not handling. There's something you're not. Like I, I spent a lot of time in the ten years that I've spent with you. I've spent a lot of time working on myself, mm-hmm. so that I'm not reactive like this. Because mm-hmm. I mean, I can look back ten years, twelve years ago. I was cut off in traffic one day. I was in La Jolla. Guy cut me off. Next thing you know, I mean, I lost my freaking mind, dude. I'm out People of my car. People lose their mind in traffic. I, I blocked him off. I'm out of my car. I'm in his freaking window, and I'm about to go freaking nuclear on the about guy. About to. If you're outside of your car, I'm you're Hamas. nuclear. I'm going Hamas. Oh, Lord. Is it Hamas? Yeah. It's terrible what's going on over there. I hate what's going on over there. Smaking doesn't work. It's proven. Hitting doesn't improve behavior. If you're trying to change the kid's behavior, hitting does not Look, improve behavior. Look, find other ways. I'm telling you, the star system works. Penalties and rewards. The penalties are, hey, you know what? You get three X's, you're cut off. You don't get any sugar. I don't care if we have so-and-so's birthday. You get Nothing. no cake. No Nothing. gifts. Here's the thing. If you want this gift, she wants this long Rapunzel wig that hits the ground. She's dying for it. She's got two X's right now. She gets one more. She has to start over with Ray her Rice. starboard. Ray Rice. No more. All Ray that Rice. she's got. Rice, you should be suspended for the whole season for not picking your wife up off the floor. Look, you see a woman on the floor, help her out. You see an old person on the floor, help them out. You see an old man? Remember that little that little guy that, that yes, fell down in the movie the other day? Mm-hmm. What did I do? I was right there. Like Thor, Superman. Like like the white knight. I ran there. over to him. I cuddled him. It was me. Okay? Wonder I put woman. his hearing aid back in his head. His dental, his dentures back in his face. Yes. Yeah. I almost gave him your teeth. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching the show today. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you, in your comments, make sure in your comments uh, that you're subscribed to the channel because that's the only way we can reply. Me and her sit down together at night. Imagine when we're responding to your comment, we're sitting there laughing, talking. Oh my God, they hate us. Okay. Or maybe it's Melanie. Or they love, they love me us. and okay. they hate they, you. They, they love- and I love those. Ooh. Thanks a lot. Have a great marriage. Make the most of it. Make it great. Decide to make it super, okay? Stick with it. Stick and stay. It's is bound to pay. And see us next week. Ta-da. Instrumentals.com.